Hey guys, we're in Colorado at Red Rocky Mountain National Park. This is the west entrance to the park, and it's crazy, wet, rainy day, but you know what? Still stick around, because we're gonna show you around Rocky Mountain National Park. Hey y'all, welcome back. I'm Stacy. I'm Tom, and we're RV Texas, y'all. We are native Texans and full-time RVers who are all about exploring the great state of Texas and beyond one campground at a time. We're on a mission to experience life, not just live it, and we're bringing you along for the fun. In 2018, we sold our house, our business, and got rid of most everything we owned to hit the road and see America. Our home is a 33-foot RV named Freedom. We installed an extreme solar and lithium setup so now we can just about live anywhere with our dog Star and our cat Astro. Every day is a new adventure, so join us as we RV America, y'all. So our first stop here at Rocky Mountain National Park is just past Grand Lakes at the Kawanichi Visitor Center. And actually, we didn't even have to show a park card or anything to get into this visitor center and watch the movie. So, get our passport stamps. All right, our first two Rocky Mountain stamps. <laughs> So we made it to the Alpine Visitor Center here at Rocky Mountain National Park. Completely different weather, rainy and cold. <laughs> We're at 11,796 feet in elevation. It's the highest visitor center in the national park system. Unfortunately, their stamp needs a little work. So it was about, I don't know, 70, 75 degrees when we left Granby this morning. And up here at the Alpine Visitor Center, it is currently 46 degrees. <laughs> from here. Thank <laughs> you. 
We made it. <laughs> we made it. Barely. I'm telling you, it, the air is thin up here for sure. 12,005 feet. Yeah, it's cool. Today has been windy and rainy and foggy, but I tell you what, it gives you a whole different perspective. And up here with our head in the clouds, wow, <laughs> wow. So now we made it to the Fall River Visitor Center. Gonna get her stamped. So it's our second day with reservations in Rocky Mountain National Park. And it is rainy again today, but we're starting off earlier this morning. So we decided that before we go into the park, we'd stop for breakfast here in Grand Lake and we found Blue Water Bakery Cafe. Good stuff. So this morning we're gonna check out the Holsworth Historic Site. This is here in Rocky Mountain National Park and it's an old homestead. Let's go see it. So on the way to the homestead, we come across the stream here. This is the headwaters of the Colorado, right here. This is where it begins. That's pretty cool. That's like a little bonus. So this was a Holdsworth family's ice house slash refrigerator. It's got a sod roof and thick uh, log walls. 
first built their trout uh, camp, this would have been one of their cabins that you would have stayed in as a guest until they built their bigger dude ranch up closer to the road in the 1940s. Yeah, and we found out the dude ranch, uh, when the park, when the National Park Service bought the, the area back in the 1970s, in the 1970s, the buildings for the dude ranch, there were several buildings down there, but they removed those to restore the meadow right there. I don't know where they took the buildings because they were, I think they looked like these, you know, these type of buildings. So hopefully they took them and put them on another place, but not sure. But yeah, can you imagine out here in the middle of nowhere in the early 1900s and coming out here to trout fish and stay on this land and it, it'd be pretty cool but man it would be dark at night that's for sure <laughs> yeah there was no electricity and no running water other than the streams and the river uh, your light was the sun and the moon and the stars and the stars <laughs> which I would think you'd have a whole lot of oh there. for sure yeah there's another cabin So we had an opportunity to talk to one of the park rangers up here, and they're always so full of information. The Holsworth uh, cabin that you see behind me, Mama's cabin, 1917, that's the oldest structure here. They built the other buildings that are up here that still exist in the 1920s. And the family lived here until the late 60s or early 70s. At some point along the way, in the, about the 1940s, their son actually built the larger dude ranch down in the valley over here. When he sold the property to the National Park Service, he requested that the 1940 structures all be removed so that the focus and the education could be on the original homestead and the original trout fishing camp. The family, like I said, lived here until the late 60s, early 70s, and yes, they did add electricity uh, at some point along the way. But it's just fascinating to be able to walk through these old buildings and think about what it would have been like to be here back in that time and how difficult it would have been to get here. So this cabin right next to the parking lot actually predates the whole Holsworth property. This was built by a miner in 1902 and uh, he was here for about seven years until he realized he wasn't finding what he was looking for and it's pretty isolating out here. And so uh, the Holsworths took it over and Joe Holsworth actually kept his horse in here with him uh, when it was really cold. <laughs> Lucky horse. So we're going to go on the Coyote Valley Trail. Uh, this was recommended by some of the rangers at the uh, visitor center, given the weather. Said it's a nice hike on this side. It's accessible. Uh, it's a short trail, um, but we might just see some wildlife. So, hey, we'll check it out.
So this trail is a half mile in and a half mile back, and it goes along the Colorado River. So I love the sound of that water. So one thing that's neat about this trail, one, it's beautiful. Two, yeah, you're in this valley and along the river the whole way, so there is a good chance you'll see some wildlife, even though we haven't today. Uh, but also, all along the way, there are these little offshoots, there's lots of benches to enjoy the view, and you've got information boards all along the way to tell you the story of the area. So that is really neat. I like that a lot. Well, like Stacy said, we didn't see any big wildlife, and but there's a lot of evidence that they have been here. You can see these grasses are all pushed down, so they've they've like bedded in here or nestled in here. And we in Texas, you see a lot of this in the state parks and stuff because of the hogs. And, but the hogs do a lot more damage. And, but you know where they've been because of areas like this. So we know they've been here, just not now. Maybe next time. <laughs> so the rain is back, <laughs> but that's okay. We're continuing. Got my jacket to protect the camera. <laughs> We're not gonna let it stop us. Welcome to our campsite here in Granby, Colorado. We are at uh, Sun Outdoors Rocky Mountains, formerly called River Run Resort. This is site number 327, and it is a full hookup, 30 and 50 amp back end site. This is a huge resort, <laughs> huge. Uh, it is truly a resort as well. They've got a lot of RV sites, both pull through and back in. They've got tons of cabins they've got you can rent an airstream you can tent camp or you may be able to see it behind me you can actually stay in a conestoga wagon yeah haven't seen that anywhere else from what we understand from the uh some of the folks who are working here this is only part of what this resort will eventually be they're working on adding on to it which will make it absolutely massive there's a lot to do here for families and it's very popular uh, with a lot of the locals on the weekends and during the summer. Last weekend it was pretty crazy. Now it's pretty quiet. This is a Friday in late August. This has been a great base camp for our Rocky Mountain National Park visits. We're about 20 minutes from the park. And uh, so we're on the west side though. Uh, we go in at Grand Lake. We're also, so we're about 20 minutes from Grand Lake just outside the town of Granby. While we were here, we met a special someone who you might know, uh, Traveling Robert also happened to be passing through here. Uh, and so if you missed our winging it with him, he was kind enough to sit down with us while we were here and uh, film a video, so I'll link that in the description. He also did a full park review on this resort, so if you want to see more about this resort, I'm going to link to his video uh, so that you can see more of that. 
we're on our way to Breckenridge, so uh, we will see you there. I'm going to put more tips about our visit in Rocky Mountain National Park and things to think about on our website, so I'll put the link in the description. Until next time, y'all, safe travels and happy camping. Bye.